人は誰もが己の知識や認識に頼り縛られ生きているそれを現実という名で呼んでなしかし知識や認識とは曖昧なものだその現実は幻かもしれない人は皆思い込みの中で生きているそれがこの世界の真実だ何Hello, everybody, it's t j b r TV. I am Turkey Turk. Hello. So, yes, the nerfs are back. Were they ever not really back?、Uh, let's just see what's going on here. So, as you know, there's a whole lot of changes going on. This is the latest of them, and we have a new story in the story mode, which I'm kind of looking forward to. Hopefully, Reapers will be interesting. And then we have this new map, which is really cool. We want new maps. Did we want another Sandy map? God damn you. I'm kind of hoping the new maps will have something about the story or what happened. I would love to have an old Dawn's Children facility or disease control center facility. Something kind of cool. I don't know. Even just a thing with propaganda and posters and stay inside with your mask. I don't know. Something. So let's look at these balance changes, so called. Now, Harvester, again. As you know, the Harvester had this weird hidden buff where. They totally redid the perk so that it doesn't just do passive more damage. And I was always saying, why would it need that? That's way too much. That's just crazy. So, what they did was they made the perk so that if there's some kind of a negative effect, then that perk will make the harvester do more damage. Are you insane? So, what that kind of did was I kind of get it. So, in lower power score, the harvester did as much damage as two d r u z b u z z So, let's look, show that. And、uh, so, I guess that was the whole point. So, you have to use harvester for high power score because you must have a spark or Draco, pretty much. Which does two things. First of all, harvester is no longer your first legendary, which it was mine. Now, it's no point. Secondly, you really have to have a spark or Draco. You're not going to see just one or two harvesters in a starter build, for example. But in the end, in the medium to high power score, where you had a Harvester Spark, they would dominate, even dominated Clan Wars. There was nothing but Harvester Dogs all over the place. And when you mess up with Clan Wars, that's when the devs finally do something about it, because these Clan War guys, they're spending a lot of money. They get what they want, pretty much. So they did it again. They pretty much did the same exact thing, only more so. So they are reducing the base damage of the harvester. On its own, it's now, I'm assuming, it's going to be less than two d r u z b u z z which doesn't feel great. But have you ever tried to kill people with two d r u z b u z z It's a really dis disgusting hitbox. Very、really、hard to do, actually. Harvester is so good because it's just so freaking big. You can't miss. It's still good just for that. Reduced ram damage, that's going to hurt a little bit. But. Increased bonus damage from the parts perk. What are you freaking doing? This is a nightmare, guys. So,、um, yeah, I mean, this here, the reducing, reducing, it does get them away from the lower power score, but this increased bonus damage is going to bring back more and more harvesters with sparks and dracos. They're going to be all over the place doing insane damage. They're disguising a buff in a nerf, and I. Just don't think they really understand what's going on. So, devs, I'm seriously hoping we need a lot more user feedback. You guys have to actually put your voice in and tell devs what's going on. Now, I've always said that Harvester didn't quite need its perk. It didn't need to just do more damage. It does so much freaking damage anyway. It's so freaking huge. I've always been for just kind of getting rid of the perk altogether and saying maybe give it some more resistance to generator explosions. So at least you don't lose your Harvester after a generator. It's not a one hit weapon. But as far as this increased bonus damage, I've always said that's what Tormentors are for. And people have not really been using them. So, here, of course, is my build. It's just so freaking beautiful. This is the, my absolute most favorite build that I've ever, ever created. Absolutely love it. So, and as you can see, it's got a harvester. And I've never really been into the double harvester. Even for me, double harvester is just kind of a no brainer kind of a thing. And the other thing is, there's a boar up on top for your hovers and for your spiders. And,、um, y e p you might say, well, it's a boar, it's a blue weapon, but you know what? That's why there's a little hidden mechanic here, which is what I've always been saying should happen with melee. 
So, I have here a Tormentor, which does more damage. So, I get in there, I take on these big mobs all at once. It's pretty freaking cool, man. I love it. Yep, yep. Take it. Take it. Other stuff here. So, Junk Boat is getting a little nerf. They're increasing the spread of the Junk Boat, which is fine. It's going to do the same damage, essentially, but it's not going to strip weapons so easily. And that's only low power scores because it's just the blue weapon. So, not too bad. The Rapier has a buff, who cares, fine. Um, the buff is increasing the auto cannon shell explosion radius. So they're not compensating for a fact that they will blow up before they hit your intended target. They're not gonna do more damage, they're just gonna increase their, uh, whatever. Mandrake howitzer and Cinderin catapult, ooh. So the sensitivity of the scope and the camera's behavior might be a little bit better. Wanna get incinerators forever, just didn't have it. So that's pretty cool, let's we'll see how it happens with that. And Mitch Mission System, blah, 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 we shall see. So yeah. So while we're on this subject, let's all talk about raids, because that was updated uh, a while ago. And what essentially they've done is they've made raids, I don't know, a little beefier. They have some stronger vehicles, more weapons on them. And uh, essentially, it takes so much more time to kill all these guys. So there's more vehicles, more weapons, more time spent to finish these stupid raids. However, it seems to me like they're actually easier. If anything, raids are easy. I've been winning them pretty no problem. Even hard raids have been no problem for me whatsoever. So, I don't know what the devs, what problems the devs are trying to fix, but um... But raids being um, too, uh, too short has never been a problem. And um, now, of course, Chase is also over with, so uh, they're still reworking that um, to try to make Chase even more long and, and annoying. So seriously, devs, that's not what we wanted. There's no, we have no problems, no problems at all with raids being easy and short. We do not need raids to be longer with more stuff to do. We just, you know, I mean, especially the, what's called the, the frontier defense thing. There's just so many, so many waves, so many more waves. It's just stupid. And why do we have to go through all these freaking waves? And it's easy. I've, I've won every single one. It's really easy to win, but seriously, man. There you go. Not a problem at all. Oh, you're wedged on your own, uh, your own baddie. Okay, your own peon. <laughs> nice. That's you done. It depends. Some raids have uh, have more have some beefy mini bosses, but they're so easy. They're easier. They take longer to play. Uh, pain in the butt, if you ask me. Anyway, there you go, folks. So nerf buff. I don't know if they even know what's going on themselves. Holy crap! But anyway, I'm holding on to my harvester. You hold on to yours. I'll see you guys later. Ciao, guys. Don't drop that dark and dark. Hey, don't drop that dark and dark.